Welcome back. Game number three here between Epsilon and Rise. Rise with that new roster up 2-0, Maven. Kind of shocked. It's going to be Detroit uplink game number three. Is this where Epsilon starts to make the comeback, in your opinion? Ah, oh, this particular map, again, at relegation, we saw them pretty, pretty back and forth. Uh, the thing they struggle with the most, we would see them get two or three down and then just not really apply pressure very well. They weren't turning big kills into points a lot of the time. I don't, honestly, I think they're going to get three out. I guess it's not really come back. Although this is the first game on their house. So uh, that that's at least one thing they have going for them. So just flipping through some classes. Looks like we're going to see two and two. Two ARs, two SMGs out of the side of Epsilon. And then for Rise, going to see three and one. So Goon going to be running a sub. For Rise, it's going to be Chino running the main AR for Rise here on Detroit. And it's going to be Epsilon attacking from the favorable side, but does not matter. It's going to be Rise picking up some big kills off the break here. Chino with two great long distance kills. It's going to be Weeds with the drone trying to work it up the middle of the street. Goes for a one point play, throws it just in the middle of nowhere. And that is not how you want to go for a one point shot. All right, and Chino. Out to a 2-0 start. He's going to get pick mid-street. Just trying to funnel through these people close to the drone spawn. See who's going to be get set up, get control. It's going to be Remy. First man in. He's going to be able to get through window, but there's a player here inside of school that he'd have to deal with. His toss just he flies the whole way out mid-steps, but that did provide him time to get a little bit of help. He's got a player in front. He has no idea how to control his ball. I believe yeah. he's a man to throw it inside of the truck, and I don't think he can pick it back up. Yeah, Remy has thrown the drone inside of the truck, so... Not able to get it. It's going to get reset in the middle All of the right, match. Remy, you're not allowed to e touch the drone Epsilon, again. <laughs> Epsilon has absolutely zero luck in this matchup. It's unbelievable. You, you saw the first toss he did in school. It hit. It banked like the whole way out of school, so he had to run back and grab it. Then I don't know what he did there. He just wanted to toss it. Give it a little vacation. Nap there inside of the truck. Unfortunately, it ends up being reset. I think that was at least a good chance for a one-pointer. Yeah, and Wheats right there was in perfect position to actually pick up a pass. He just The drone just goes right by him, so... Now it's going to be reset yet again. Both teams find themselves. Nope. Some odd things happening. Nagavent on the four streak. He's going to pick up the drone. Sitting here at seven and three. Going to have one player behind him. It looks like he has some teammate support. This is going to be a two point play as Epsilon gets on the board here first. And they are able to get the 2 0 lead. Nagavent, good start. A three streak right now, despite being four and five. His royalty, he's going to have one in front. Able to stun him out for the time being, but he's going to have to back up as he had no cover there. The player rotating over mid-map to help him out is going to be Swanee. Swanee not able to get in window, and that's going to leave Royalty pretty much all by himself. He's got Nagafin now by himself over back wall. He gets one. There's a couple mid-street as well. He's going to lose that gunfight. And right now, it's just kind of a battle for this drone spawn. They were able to toss it forward, but all it's going to lead to is a reset here for Epsilon. If Droten going to get thrown up top of the Ryan Epsilon base and Epsilon setting up for mid-map control royalty on your screen. He has two players in garage. He's going to have one directly in front of him. Going to lose that fight as you see three players from Rise picking up kills. Rise has some great attempts at putting on some points. Just haven't been able to convert those. It's going to be Weed trying to bring it through garage players spawning directly in front of him. TJ, this is a huge kill. If he's able to pick this one up on royalty, could have resulted in points, but it looks like Royalty trying to throw that drone out. Did he actually get it out of bounds? It looks like it does go out. So, drone going to be reset mid-map. And this one, you know, back and forth the entire game. Nobody's gotten any real good control of the map. You know, Rise with some good opportunities to score. Maven haven't been able to convert. And Epsilon, you know, playing from the good side. Haven't been able to do much of anything. No, I mean, the one opportunity that we got forward, and at least would have had the one-point toss there, I think, at the corner, was when... Unfortunately, he lost it inside of the truck. They haven't had an effective push again. It's going to be Wheats now. As he's going to wrap back alley. He's got one player to beat. I think he might have been able to connect the melee there, but he decided to try and go for the one-point tosses. He will get cut down. Now, Royalty, instead of tossing it out, he knows they're all down. They're going to get forward. They forced to the spawn there at back elbow and green, and that's going to allow him to push free into school. He's got one covered, one pushed over back wall. His team not able to pick that up. It's actually going to be Tish who gets the two-piece, and now Royalty tries to push in, but he has no one in front of him. Everyone turned around to deal with Tish in the back. Yeah, Swanee going to try and come through back alley. Looks like he's going to put down some cover fire for Nagafen. Nagafen just can't get forward enough. It looks like Swanee's still trying to keep this alive for his squad. He's going to be able to pick up one, but the drone's going to get reset. And Chino, he's going to be able to pick it up. Let's see if he can make anything happen. As two players directly in front of him make it three. He's going to try and go for a one-point throw. Chino's going to connect. So in the last 40 seconds, 
a one point throw out of Rise. We picks up two big kills. A nice end to the game so far from Rise that they're able to hold on. Just trying to see if they have anyone. Who is that that got all the way forward in the base? That's going to be Tej. He's pretty far forward. They get the toss in. He's going to have one to beat here. He gets it. This might be a dunk. There's actually one more behind. He gets cut down. No one else there. I like that try, though. Tej got in. He was pretty sneaky. Got into the base. They tried to get the toss forward. It was a good effort. Now, can we somehow manage to get one more point on the board to tie this up? And that, that should be a couple seconds left here. That's going to take away. Nope. I'm going to go into the second half. With Epsilon up 2-1, they get those two points early out of Nagafe and then nothing else the rest of the game. Rise going on the good side here in the second half. Should be able to make something happen. Tej leading all players in the room at 19 and 10. Maven, who do you think wins this game, judging by what you saw in the first half? I, I, uh, it's difficult to pick. I mean, I, I think my gut tells me Rise will close this out as they're now going to go to good side. They're only trailing by one. Uh, You've got to get more. You got to get more than two points to the board. When you're pushing through school, you got to do it much more effectively. I know they had the one mix up there with Remy. Apparently, that put him on tilt, and he's seven and fourteen. He's not had a great series. No, Remy hasn't had a good series by any stretch of the imagination. I agree with you on that one. TJ is going to pick up two kills right off the bat. Not able to finish off that third player. Royalty with the drone. Going to be trying to get it in the hospital. It's going to be Swanee on a four streak for Epsilon. Starting to heat up, give his team a little bit of something. And he's going to be pushing down mid street. If Nagathan dies over there by drone, look for the guys on rise to try and wrap it around through back alley. Nagathan's actually going to pick the drone up. He's going to drop. It's going to be Swanee still on that five streak. Drone looks to be reset by Rise, so Epsilon getting map control, but now they need to go back towards Drone, as you see players from Rise going to be converging on mid-map. The Drone's going to be coming up now. Swanee streak will end. Incredible start there on this half from him. He needs everyone to get it going. It's going to be Wheats and Rise starting before. They already have it to school, and they should get points on the board here as they have the base locked down. That's Tej in the back. And that'll be an easy dunk. You know, you saw Tej do that a couple times on the other side, where he's able to get forward. But on this side, I mean, if you can get in the back of the base there, you can just wreak havoc. I mean, they should be able to rally here. They're going to get a couple dunks out of this as long as he's still alive. Yeah, he's actually going to drop. So good thing for Epsilon. They were able to clean him out at the back of the base. It's going to be Rise moving the drone up the map. Wheats going for another one-point toss. Just don't touch the drone. It's the second time we've seen him miss pretty badly with a one-point throw. Gonna come on board with TJ. He just looks like he's just gonna play the drone up top on Garage. Going for that reset. Royalty picking up a big two piece. Looks like Remy picking up another one in the kill feed. So maybe Epsilon can get some map control here. And that's that's what I'm talking about right there. I mean, I know I know the drone's down. They're waiting for it to respawn, but they got I think three. The Chino was the last one alive, trying to hold mid street there, and they didn't push him out. They didn't really lock down anything. They just waited. There was only two seconds left for drones, so I think they could have pushed forward a little bit more and left one guy back, maybe got aggressive here. But have you seen really any effective aggression or pushes out of the Epsilon side? It seems like everyone's nope. kind of content to slay mid-map sometimes. Yeah, well, they slay mid-map, then as soon as the drone comes down, I feel like Ryze wins all those gun battles, and they'll be able to take that control right back. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, Epsilon really needs to do a better job slaying. Once they get the drone, they get it now. They're going to throw it into the Ryze base. Let's see if they can make a play here. Oh, and as I say that, TJ just picks team. up a huge three-piece. Yeah, he just slaughters everyone there. There's over two, men, over two minutes to go. There's plenty of time here, obviously, for them to score. But another dunk here would be devastating with a, as a low-scoring game this is. Good will be pushing here back alley. And he decides to go for the one-point toss. Really just connects. gets it effectively into the back of the base. Did that actually go through? Yeah, bounced up and in. Oh, so it bounces go up I and in. I thought, he, I thought he was way short. Now it bounced up and in, and Goon's going to put one on the board there for Rise Nation. It's going to be Nogafen with the drone in back yellow. Going to go for a one-point throw. Players everywhere for Rise, not able to intercept it. So it's going to be Epsilon down one with a minute 30 to go, Maven. Seconds left. Goon's going to die mid-street. Try and just watch everyone in around the drone control here. And that's Nogafen ready to take up he gets one over the wall, tries to get a second. He's going to fall. And there really is just a couple players in garage right now for the side of Rise. The person covering around Atlas. 
That's Swanee. If Swanee can win some key gunfights here, allow them to get forward. He's just going to grab it and toss it forward. Who's the player here he's throwing it to? He's got someone at the base. This is going to be a dunk, a really easy one. Royal here needs to find the damn drone. He's finally going to get it, and there it is. They take the lead, 60 seconds left, and there was just royally snuck through, man. There was no one, they had no idea he was in the base. Yeah, Royalty picks up a big two-point play there for Epsilon, but look at this, that we could potentially have another two-point play. Looks like Wheats, he's gonna be mid-map, he's gonna pass that one to a teammate, and actually the teammate's gonna drop as soon as he passes it, and the drone's just gonna reset itself back towards the middle of the map. Remy, he's gonna pick it up, toss it out of bounds, so Epsilon doing everything they can to hold on here in the last few seconds. They have to be careful though, cannot let Ryze get the drone. You see players setting up in school for Ryze. They have to be careful. It's gonna be Chino on your screen with the drone. TJ picking up a kill in the back. Chino needs to go big here for Ryze. He's gonna get one, trying to go for a one point play with a pretty bad throw there directly at Swanee. Swanee gonna toss that one out and it's gonna be Epsilon. Let's see if they're gonna be able to hold on here. It looks like Gonna have TJ going for the drone. Nope, gonna be taken out. It's gonna be Epsilon holding on to win by one here in Uplink Detroit. Yeah, you said that's it. I was like, wait. I said it. And I was like, wait a second. Maybe yeah, yeah. something happens, but nope. I thought maybe they had a chance there, but Epsilon, the first two playing off host, not able to steal either of those games. Finally in control here. Uh, they won it though in the final 90 seconds or so when they were able to get that through. That was really just a nice pass to Royalty. You were able, able to sneak through uh, enemy lines there, get set up in the base, gets the dunk through, and now they're coming alive. They avoid the yep. 3L. We'll see if they can push this. And, you know, with the, the way this league's going so far, uh, so far, I've got a feeling we're going to have another Game 5. Yeah, could potentially have another Game 5. Never know. Swanee with a big pass to Royalty, able to give Epsilon that win. Game number four between yep. Rise and Epsilon coming up right after this.